I know this is a fantasy YouTube channel, uh, and I only review fantasy books, but recently I've been taking a turn into do doing a lot of like non-fiction stuff, and because of that I really want to review some of it. Now I have reviewed a bunch of non-fiction books, and some of them have done better than others, but in general, I feel like people don't really want to see that on a fantasy channel, and I totally understand that. And so because of that, uh, I'm only going to be reviewing the very, very important non-fiction books to me. And uh, one of my favorites of all time is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. So this is a book, if you don't know, uh, about this guy who has really really gone through a life that is really, really pushing himself out of the comfort zone. Now, he's not this guy that had this really difficult life. What he did have was he uh, he did have a drive, right? He did want to go to a specific place in his life. He wanted to go into the Marines. He wanted to be a SEAL. Um, and so this is kind of his documentation of his journey from being a person that is really, really worthless in terms of, you know, what they could do with their life. They're very uh, weak. They're very soft person and turning themselves uh, into one of the most powerful warriors in history, you know? Not really, but that's kind of how it feels like reading the book. I'm a sucker for biographies. I really am. I love biographies so much. And so this is obviously just up my alley. Uh, the biography we have here isn't particularly crazy. It's nothing of a king or a warrior in, or anything or uh, some just this crazy guy. What it is, is just this documentation of this man's story. Showing us where he started with this family that was kind of broken in this, in, in this household that was really, really horrible and seeing him come out of it just this weakened person. And it's not the coming out of this dark place and becoming great kind of a thing. It's coming out of this dark place and realizing how weak he was, realizing how weak he had become because of that dark place and then coming from that weak place into the powerful place. And that's really, really emphasized. The fact that he was this uh, guy, that, this kid that was like re living in a really, really horrible house is not the point of contention. It's not the difficult part to think about. What's really focused on in the novel is how he became the strong person, the strong-willed person from a weak-willed person. That's kind of what this entire book is about, which is why I love it so much. It's a very strong breakaway from this story about somebody who uh, who really didn't have a reason to go forth and become great. Like maybe a, you know, like a, a common fantasy trope, which is a, a kid who's a farmer uh, who just is not destined for greatness and becomes great. Now, what they have in this situation is an opportunity to become great. That's kind of how these cliches go. But in this book, we really see this guy go from not an opportunity to become great, but a guy working hard for the opportunity to become great, to make his mind, in the, in the words of this book, to callous his mind into something that could become great. Which is why I really like this book. It, it's a fantastic book. It really, really just makes you fired up. It doesn't make you fired up in like very short spurts, but just reading the book in, in a very, uh, you know, in a, sh in a short amount of time, if you read the book, you start to feel like, wow, this man, he really, you know, he really knows what life is about. He really knows that he needs to get up and do something with his life. And that's just so motivating. Not the short spurts of motivation, but just this understanding, this this learning of what a drive really means, what a drive to exist really entails in the real world. I did have a couple problems with the books, which is why I didn't rate it five stars, but it, in, in general, it's an absolutely incredible read because every single chapter, uh, from apart from the beginning, which I'll talk about in a minute, is just jam-packed full of in interesting information. We have a really interesting struggle, uh, rising and falling, rising and falling, just this barrage of just unfortunate events to this guy. And it's so interesting just to see him rise to each of these challenges, like as if it's an opportunity to prove himself. And that's really the kind of mindset that we want to absorb through osmosis here. So that part is fantastic. However, the beginning is a little bit iffy just because the beginning we start off in this place that's really dark uh, and I, I see really no reason that we wanted to go in there it was mentioned in this book that David Goggins wanted to mention his upbringing where he came from because he wanted to show people that no matter where you came from you can ascend to this great being um, but that's kind of just neat I feel like it's just kind of needless because it didn't add anything to the story all it did was it added uh, the uh, his brother and uh, by the end his brother comes back to meet him or something like that uh, he meets his brother again and that's kind of what brings it full circle, which is really great. And I really enjoyed the fact that they connected up like that. But at the same time, right at the beginning, we have this very, very dark part that seems to offer very little in terms of actual content to the story. Because if the story is about this guy becoming weak, uh, starting off weak and then becoming strong, there's no reason to show why he's so weak. I feel like that's not a necessary part of the equation because that's not part of the story. The story is how to become strong after being weak. And we just started like a couple of years later, maybe four or five years later, we would have skipped a lot of the dramatic stuff. But the fact that the dramatic stuff, it was dramatic, but it wasn't relevant. So it's just stuff like that that just really feels like the beginning of the book was a little bit off-putting. It felt boring to me and I was I was really about to put it down for a lot of time. I did read this book on audiobook and it 
it's it's a very interesting format that they do this. They call it like a podcast slash audiobook because in the between like chapters they just start talking about what they were just talking about, and I don't like that. That was kind of dumb. Why? What's the reason for that? I mean, I I like the insight. I would rather watch the interview like afterwards. I would find that much more engaging because if I'm reading a story or listening to a story, I want to finish the story. The story is like the most important thing to me. What's the point of kind of cutting that off and just talking about it? That kind of ruins. Like you wrote the book with the, uh, with a certain sense of. Uh, of tension and a certain sense of you know pacing why would you kind of mess with that by breaking up the chapters and just talking about it in between and whatever you did talk about it wasn't that interesting it was okay i, I would have loved to see it in an interview if i wanted to go on and i probably would have if i want to go on and learn more but in the middle of the book really as well as the challenges the challenges uh, were were far too vague for me to actually like commit to them a couple of them were like smart i liked the first uh, maybe two and then one near the end about journals uh, or something like that but in general they were very vague and i don't know what they really did they really expect people to follow these little tips in between uh if i were you i would not pick up the audiobook although the audiobook is fine it's not a bad thing it's totally fine but i would i think that the format of a physical book might be more engaging um, at the same time, if you want to just listen to it as you're like running or jogging like he kind of wants you to, then this is a totally decent pick. So considering the motivational material, not the motivational material, like this this drive, this uh, understanding of how to cr create motivation within yourself or how to discipline yourself, that's that kind of stuff all coming together. In, in conclusion, it's just fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that journey, that emotional journey that he put us through, this uh, beautiful narrative that he kind of took us through with his entire life and kind of showing us the reason that he's telling us all the stories and kind of showing us where he began, where he ended up, stuff like that. That's just all unbelievably fascinating. I enjoyed it very, very much. And so I have rated it eight four stars. So it's a fantastic book. It does have its flaws. It's one of my favorite books, really, really is. If you if you ask me to recommend you one of my favorite nonfiction books, this would be one of them. Uh, there's another one. Uh, that's called Endurance that I actually rated five stars and I will be putting up a review for that in a couple weeks so stay tuned for that but uh, for now I will just say can't stop me or can't hurt me whatever it is I, I might have said it wrong at the beginning it's a fantastic book it really is and I highly recommend you pick it up if you are in the market for something that really want uh, that uh, makes you want to discipline yourself that makes you want to grow out of whatever like softling you are and become more powerful so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button down below or subscribe if you want to see more of these really kind of uh, you know, a couple uh, nonfiction books just, just just motivate me, as well as fantasy. You can check out my channel. I do a lot of fantasy review. Uh, I have done a lot of, uh, you know, tons of reviews for not just directly fantasy, so you can see those as well. And also, if you want to see what book I'm reading currently, you can check in my Goodreads. I'm currently, like, multiple, multiple weeks ahead of what I'm posting. So if you want to see what is coming up in the future, I review almost every book that I read. And if you don't know if I'm going to review it or not, just ask me. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.